The question says the velocity of small ball of mass capital M and density small d when dropped in a container filled with glycerin becomes constant after some time. If the density of glycerin is d by 2, then the viscous force acting on the ball will be. Now definitely we can say the constant velocity is nothing but the terminal velocity. This formula is 2 by 9 r square g rho minus sigma upon eta. Okay. Here 2 by 9 r square g by eta to theek hai. But rho is the density of the ball which is d. Sigma is the density of the surrounding which is glycerin over here. That makes it d by 2. So d minus d by 2 is d by 2. That makes it 1 by 9 r square g d by eta. That is the terminal velocity. Now we know the viscous force formula is 6 pi eta r v. Okay. So if I substitute the formula or the value of velocity we got, it will be 1 by 9 r square g d by eta. So definitely this eta gets cancelled. This is 3 2 za, 3 3 za. Now if you understand this, this is going to be 2 pi r cube by 3 into g d. Okay. So now you have to understand this is nothing but half of the volume of a ball because the volume of the ball is 4 by 3 pi r cube. Correct. So this is nothing but v by 2 g into d and we also know the volume into density is nothing but the mass which means this is nothing but mg by 2 or ye hoga hamara final answer.